Robbed Wallace Vili ran into Bradley Martin at Power Slap and attempted to wrestle him. <laughs> Boxer Ryan Garcia was on Instagram Live and Dylan Dennis entered his chat. Garcia proceeded to go off on Dylan after he saw him. Oh my gosh, there goes Dylan Downness. Hey bro, I know that check is running out. Relax. Dylan Downness, relax. That check is running out, but relax a little bit, buddy. Bro, it's not a game all the time, Dylan Dennis. Like, it's real life and you keep playing. You're not, you're really not, bro. You literally got beat up by Logan Paul. You're not, bro. Like, you've been up for years and years and years you had a chance and then you went and looked stupid in the ring you're not bro like literally you're not you're just an idiot do i'm a jujutsu guy bro you don't even know how to write sorry for my language you don't even know how to write bro it's a real fight i make you hold my pocket now you're trying to talk like connor bro you're literally stupid like literally stupid bro you're like that one dude that just comes out of nowhere like can I have a hug? Like, relax, bro. You're the dude that says I need a hug. You're a f***ing me. And get off my page before I block you. Like, I don't like idiots. Don't talk to me no more. We're cool off you, bro. Hit us in 30 minutes. Come back. Hit us in 30. I'm like, bro, you're a clown, bro. Yesterday, John Jones gave his opinion on Andrew Tate, and Tate has since responded. A man like you, how do you write Andrew Tate as a fighter? <laughs> I, you know, I, I've seen, I've seen some of his training videos. Um, I haven't seen too much of his actual work, um, but he looks pretty solid. He looks solid. I'm just proud of the person that that he's trying to be, just for for human beings. He's always trying to share some knowledge, and he doesn't always hit the mark, but he's trying to, you know, help men and, and women think outside the box and expand on all of our knowledge. And, and I'm grateful for that because. Not a lot of people do share what they know. So I'm grateful for him. Andrew Tate responded to John via X. He wrote Top J. So last night, Sean Strickland got himself into a whole bunch of drama. First, Sean sparred the streamer Sneeko, and a lot of fans thought Sean went too hard. You know, as his rapper, this is the second knows he works for you. Double up the bus. As we get closer to the three minute mark, you're about to feel a significant more amount of pain. They should be setting it in right now, then nothing you can do can hurt me. And this is a moment that as you're realizing, you're about to have a really bad day in the next minute. Two minutes, two minutes. I want to enjoy this a little bit longer. Let that right go, Steve. Bro. There you go. Oh. oh. Sean and Sneeko met up afterwards at Power Slap, and Sean told Sneeko that he could have taken his life. Sneeko also ran into Bilal Muhammad, who said that Sean has pillow hands. I just want to say, I don't think you deserve the hate that you're getting on social media. Is it getting hate? I, don't, they, I mean, they're giving him backlash. They're saying that, like, he went too hard. I know that everybody you know, knows. They must not know who this man is, Let me bro. tell you something. I like Sneeko. Some things you've done are questionable, but you're better. Everybody does a questionable thing. I would take your life gladly, but I don't mean that personally. I would probably anybody in this room for the most part besides my friend. But you hung in there, bro. You showed up and you smart, man. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah. Yeah. You did it the right way. Yeah, let's go. Yeah. How you feeling? How's it going? Feel good, yeah. Yeah, man. There's, there's guys you do it with, and guys that are airheads that are like slow that don't understand that they want to just make like a try to make you look stupid. But oh, okay. Josh Strickland's one of those guys that wants to make you look stupid. So what what do you think overall? What what should I work on the most? Like I mean, we all know Sean got pillow hands. Right? <laughs> you also got a chin. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Biggest thing, biggest game thing in this game is heart, right? You had heart. Yeah. You didn't fall. You didn't fall. 
Anything technical you notice? I mean, crossing the feet, little things, just lo loosening up your body a little bit with it. Stiff You're longer, yeah. So you know, use your jabs more, play with it a little bit more. Using your distance, because you're, you're a bigger kid. So get in that ring ownership. When the guy's walking forward, you put his hands down. It's like, all right, you got to make him not want to walk forward anymore. So you got to hit him with a hard one, too, to the face. Yeah. So, but I know he's just laughing at you, and like you don't think that anything's no. going to hurt him. Have you sparred him before? Huh? Have you sparred uh, Sean no, before? I the street fight, though. Yeah, I, don't <laughs> like it. I don't like him at all. You, you, you never? Oh, because why? I don't like him, no. He's just uh, a piece of trash, a like human being. So, yeah. yeah. So I don't get along with it. You guys have like personal... We got beef, yeah. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. Oh, I did not know that. Nah, you're good, <laughs> I had no idea. Nah, My bad. Good. Sean also got into it with Machine Gun Kelly last night. Sean told him he looked like a weirdo to his face, and the two had words for each other. Dana White reacted to this. Here's what he had to say. Uh, Sean Strickland tweeted that there may have been something between him and Machine Gun Kelly. Can you talk to me about what happened there? You camping... Sean Strickland around any other human beings. It's like, you know what I mean? It has nothing to do with Machine Gun Kelly. It's about humans. There's a clip going around X today of Isra Disonya discussing Sean Strickland hard sparring. This clip is from UFC 293. Izzy labeled Sean as a gym hero and said that Sean didn't spar Alex Pajeda like that because he knows he'd get knocked out. I call that gym heroes. When he sparred Pereira, did he spar like that? Didn't look like it. Exactly, because he knows Pereira will f knock him out. It's called respect, and um, I have teammates, and we can push, but I don't try and hurt my teammates. Like, he's knocking people out in the gym. Accidentally, I've probably knocked two people out over the last how many years I've been fighting in the gym accidentally. And, you know, it's not even knocked out, like dropped them because it was light. But, like, you know, it's just I don't try and hurt people. I don't, I don't know. There's many ways to skin a cat. Look, whatever you works for you works for you but i just feel like i've seen too many of those now where i'm just like Whoa. gym hero and, and that's going to wrap it up for the news thanks for watching for daily mma news and content subscribe to full mount mma and click the bell icon to be notified when we post videos here are the three top comments from last video the first one says man i don't even care what the headliner for ufc 300 is anymore the second one's from luke says UFC asking Jones to fight Stipe two months away from UFC 300. Proves that Dana is desperate and scrambling hard for the main event, they don't have it. And the final one's from Nate Marks. Says Trump has a new best friend in Strickland. Colby is crying. Those were the three top comments from last video. If you want to be featured in the next one, all you have to do is comment down below. And if you missed yesterday's news, click the video on screen right now to get caught up.